guys, welcome back to Jade Van Rial's channel. I'm so grateful that you are here today and you have clicked this video because it's gonna be really exciting and I'm finally sharing with you guys some of the things that I have been buying for the past four months. And actually some of them have been bought a year ago before I even had a house. Talk about obsessed. My homeware haul, accessories haul, house, blah, blah, blah. All the sort of nice, cute things that you will find in my home and Guys, this is just the beginning because I am obsessed with buying things. I'm quite particular and the house is nowhere near finished so it won't be a house tour. Sorry guys, I'm not at that stage yet. But I will show you different things in different rooms of the house and hopefully that will be good enough for now. <laughs> So I think I should start off then with the room that I'm currently sitting in and this is my bedroom. Take a look. And I think you guys are very, very familiar with this room because you saw this room go from purple to silver and white. So we'll start off with my bed. I'm going for the sort of luxurious feel and it's nowhere near finished. As you can see, all of my cushions are actually from Home Sense, not the same branch. They're all from various different branches. The crushed velvet ones actually sort of match my headboard and my headboard is from eBay, guys. Just Google crushed velvet headboards and there are so many various companies. I can't even find the link to share that with you. And then I've got my fur cushions, which are a new addition, which I bought a few weeks ago actually from home sense too and i just wanted to get those for a different sort of texture on my bed and then of course i've got my shaggy mongolian head white furry cushion bang in the middle but these cushions were actually quite affordable the crushed velvet cushions were 14.99 each and they're quite a good size and then the furry ones were also 14.99 each and then the mongolian head one in the middle was 29.99 moving on to my bedside tables i think i briefly shared with you guys that i got these on a discount my local dunelm had them in the x display department in the store it just so happened that that's exactly what i was looking for but i was trying to look for a bargain of course they are usually 129 pounds each but I got them for 50% off each and that ended up being £129 for both. So I have two on both sides because I just like the whole symmetrical vibe in a bedroom. On my bedside tables, I have got beautiful, gorgeous, sparkling glass, again, lamps in a sort of champagne-y white colour, also from Home Sense, and they were £24.99 each, if I'm not mistaken. And, I mean, you can go into Home Sense at any time of the year and get some amazing lamps. I also have some sparkly picture frames, which I have not managed to fill up yet, but they are both from TK Maxx, my mum bought them for me as a gift. And then I also have this retro alarm clock, which I have no idea where I bought it from. I've had it for years. I actually bought it for uni. I've got a coaster. I have four of those. Also bought from TK Maxx. And I actually bought these over a year before I actually bought a house. I just knew that this is the theme that I wanted in the house. And I actually wish I had bought another pack because I only have four. And I have one on each bedside table. And then I have one in the kitchen and one floating around in the living room. And that's not enough because if I have guests, they are going to need coasters too. So I'm currently on the hunt for another pack. So moving on to my little reading corner of my bedroom then is the famous pink chair in my room. And I obviously bought this chair very long time ago which some of you may know and I just thought I wanted it as an accent chair and pop of colour in a room. Wasn't sure if it was going to be my bedroom or living room or office but I knew it would be in one of the rooms in my future house. This chair was purchased from TK Maxx and it was £120. I'm not too sure if it's going to stay in here because I am looking for something a bit more grand and in line with my colour scheme. I'm not too fussed about having the pop of colour in my bedroom anymore. And I may move this chair into my office room, which you guys will soon see. Beside that are my silky, silvery, champagne-y curtains. And those were purchased from Dunelm and those were actually a gift, so I don't remember the price of them. But I will leave a link down below. So I also wanted to have fake flowers in every single room of my house because upkeeping real flowers can be very timely, very expensive, and it can get quite messy. So I wanted some fake flowers that looked quite real. Now, I don't think I've got the perfect fake flowers yet, but I think I'm pretty close. Those are from a 
company that I cannot remember the name because I got them in the Excel when I went to the home show. She had a flower market in the middle of the home show and all the flowers looked amazing, various colours and so on and if I ever do come across the name I will add the link down below. Rather than go for a typical vase I went for a champagne bowl because they tend to be quite glamorous and sparkly and this one is just sort of a chrome one and this was bought from Dunelm and the price was about $12.99. So let's move on to the room that you guys have not really seen. My dressing room slash office. Still very much under complete construction but I have started to make some headway in there. So I have moved my desk that was once in my bedroom into the second room of the house. The tray was purchased from TK Maxx a while before I bought my house and that was $9.99 and they come in various different sizes and various different designs so if you're ever in TK Maxx have a look um, but I loved it because it's mirrored and I automatically knew I'd be putting some perfumes on there so this is my very small and miniature perfume collection which is in dire need of some updating and decluttering and all sorts but we'll leave that for now and then I've also got a beautiful candle that I recently purchased and I love the sort of clear thingy that you put above it and I don't know what they're called but someone please tell me. <laughs> I've got my big mirrored jewellery box which um, was a present from my mother when I moved in and I love it, it's beautiful and I just want things like that in every room of my house honestly. Then I have a little gold sort of thing but it's just somewhere that I store my watch and my everyday jewellery and I've got a sort of to-do list pad which is from HomeSense. Also on my dressing table slash desk I keep my MacBook which is very rare because I'm usually always on my MacBook in this room on my bed and on my MacBook I have this really cool rose gold MacBook skin and I purchased this from a company called Coconut Lane. They are so cool, they have really sloganed pictures and so many different MacBook covers as well as like mugs and all sorts of home things and notebooks and just things that are gold and silver and just so blogger-esque and like marble and stuff like that so as you can see it's really up my street and I actually have a discount code for for you guys if you want to check them out because trust me you will fall in love too. The discount code is very vanreal 20 so very vanreal and then 20 on the end and you'll get 20% off your orders so go check that out and my skin came in this beautiful pink envelope which just automatically brightened up my day at work. And then just above my desk area, I have a new picture collage, which I'm so in love with. And the company that I got these from are called Desenio, which I just fell in love with them. They reached out to me and they sort of offered me, you know, the opportunity to create a collage for my new space. Of course, I was so excited because I always wanted to have a collage somewhere in my dressing room. And I just felt that was the perfect area to do it. So I have a sort of collage corner going on and um, each picture sort of represents me. There's some color, but not too much as I'm trying to keep it quite minimal and classy, but still inject a bit of personality and style. And you guys should honestly check them out they're very affordable and they've got a range of pictures and quotes anything you can think of and in different colors they've got golds silvers they've got all different color picture frames and different sizes guys and lastly but definitely not the least thing in the room is my gray poof Buffet. I don't know what you call them, but I tend to just call it a stall. It's grey, it's velvet, it's suede and it's got studs going around it, and it's got the tufted detail on the top that I love, and I purchased this stall a year ago, so a long time before I actually moved in, because I knew the vibe I wanted in my house. I actually purchased this stall from TK Maxx, £80, it had no tag on it, so I don't even know the brand of it or anything, guys, and my mum and I picked it up and struggled down the road walked back to her house and stored it in her garage for a year. So let's move on to the living room. My living room is extremely bare and pretty much empty so there isn't really a lot in there to even share with you guys anyway. We'll start off with my favourite corner of the room because that's pretty much the only corner that's done in the room and that's the sort of TV area and you guys know that I made and DIY'd my TV stand. Check out that video, I'll leave the link down below but just beside that currently I have a silver metallic like old school looking 
trunk. I've always wanted one of these in my house. Um, I actually wanted two to sort of stack, but I can never find a smaller version of it. So for now, there's just one. At the moment, it's storing a lot of old pictures and DVDs. <laughs> so it's also really good for storage purposes. And that was $29.99 from TK Maxx. And just moving over slightly across the room, I've got my open style cabinet from Ikea, which you guys know I bought very early on from moving in here. And I'm not even too sure if it's gonna stay there. It may move into my second room, but for now, we'll just keep it there. But all of these pretty ornaments and the sort of smelly things and candles, everything on this open cabinet is pretty much from HomeSense or TK Maxx. And they're all ranging from sort of five pounds to sort of 15. And just across the room on my windowsill, I have some TK Maxx goodies. They are silver, they are pretty, they are girly, and they are just so stunning to me. That won't necessarily be their permanent home. Those were all from TK Maxx and from what I can remember the two little things on the sides they're sort of like bottles glass bottles they were probably about $7.99 and the bucket in the middle I believe was $9.99 or $12.99 don't quote me, just go in there and have a look yourself. I will quickly move on to my entryway. This area of my house is literally found as soon as you step into my front door. So I had to make the most of it and make it really pretty and welcoming, right? Of course, flowers were a must. And these fake flowers were from Home Sense, And I got about five bunches. They were a little bit pricey. For each bunch, they were $2.99. The vase is from Dunelm and that was $12.99. And I loved it because it was glass. And the candles, as well as the glass tray, are from home sense the tray was 24.99 and moving on to one of my favorite rooms in the house the kitchen which is also a semi done almost there but not quite first off i'll start with the next goodies in the kitchen and these were kindly sent to me by somebody so lovely from next and i just wanted to share them with you guys because they are perfect for my kitchen i'm going for the sort of rose gold accessories in the kitchen rose gold and copper blah 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 so I was sent this beautiful dish drainer which was perfect because of course it's copper and it just says dishes on the front and I just thought it was beautiful and simple and very effective for my kitchen they also sent me this rose gold copper frying pan which was amazing because up until this point I was using a smaller very basic frying pan that started to burn my food this one is just amazing I've never burned anything in it thank god and it just keeps all the juices cooking nicely and just keeps the food really moist so I love it and of course it looks beautiful too and it goes with my kitchen very very well and the frying pan was 40 pounds and the drainer was 16 pounds but I will leave a correction on the screen now if I've got those prices wrong and I'll also leave a link down below and in the corner of my kitchen I have a sort of bar area and it's a makeshift bar that I sort of put together I just thought everything just looked so pretty together I've got this copper tray which I also purchased from HomeSense and that was also £20 and then on there I've got two bottles of champagne, a mini one and a larger one and I've got loads of glasses and mugs all with some sort of copper detailing. Every time somebody comes around they always just love and gravitate towards that area. All the glasses were also from HomeSense or TK Maxx ranging from about £2 to about £5. I don't really tend to go above and beyond for glasses. Now you'll see on my windowsill I have this water keg or filter and I actually purchased this a while ago before I moved in. Before I realised I was going to purchase a fridge that had a water fountain thing in the front of it anyway. So this tends to just look pretty in the kitchen for now. But when I do start hosting, I think I'll start making some cocktails or like some rum punch and put it in there. Because that will be really easy access for my guests to just go and grab themselves a drink, right? You can put limes, lemons or fruits inside of the water and it also looks really pretty. And just above my sink area, I have a little soap holder. That's what I call it anyway. And it's copper as well, so it's perfect. Also from Home Sense and this was $4.99 and I keep my washing up liquid in there I keep some body shop hand cream and I just love the fact that I can just keep them all together nice and neat I don't like things hanging around the sink so just beside my hot I have the most beautiful 
and heavy marble chopping board. I wanted a marble chopping board forever and I knew in my new house I had to get one. And I was looking for the one in Next, but I could not find it in store. So I ended up having a look in HomeSense, of course, and finally came across a plain one. It was 12 99 and as you can see, it's a big slab and I use it pretty much every day to cut up fruits, to cut up vegetables, and it's so handy that it just stays where it is beside the hob and it never ever moves. On my kitchen countertop I also have some clear jars and these two clear jars I purchased from TK Maxx and they are perfect for my kitchen because they're clear so they give the illusion of not taking up much space and they also have copper lids which was perfect. I really wish I had bought more because they had various sizes, they had really smaller ones, these ones were the medium size and then they had taller ones which I could have put my spaghetti in. I will hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, attract it and come across them again one day. And I think it looks quite organised. I also have my granola just beside that because I use that pretty much every day now. That glass jar was from the local bargain store and I believe that was about $1.99. My kettle was extremely important to me. Before I even moved in, I had to buy this kettle and I wanted to make kettle forever. Right now I have a cold, so I am on the lemon and honey and ginger movement right now. So that kettle has been really handy for me while I'm working from home this week. I didn't even buy the toaster to match yet. I still haven't got a toaster, but I don't actually really eat much bread. And if I ever do want to toast something, I just put it in the oven for now. I don't remember off the top of my head how much my kettle was, but I will leave a link. They do come in various different pastel colors. Also, just beside my hob, I also have a small little glass jar where I keep all of my cooking utensils. They are also copper. Yes, how did you guess? And lastly, I have to share my, oh, my cozy dressing gown. Purchased this from Next quite a while ago and I've been asked so many times on Snapchat where it's from. It was 30 pounds and it's just, it's just perfect for me and my house. It just blends in so well. It's the sort of crushed velvet effect in the silvery gray. It's so soft, it's so snuggly and it's got like a really nice waterfall front bit and then of course it has the tie in the middle and it's got really big pockets too and it's just so warm without being too thick and too stiff it's really flowy and really flexible and sometimes I just fall asleep with it on so guys we are at the end of my home accessories haul and I really hope you enjoyed me sharing these things I will really try and leave all the links down below of the things that I can find of course for the home sensor TK Maxx stuff I won't have any links because they don't really sell stuff online. So you just have to go into those stores. Please comment down below and tell me what you liked and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.